Okay. First things first, this isn't me claiming to want to debate anybody on the topic of antinatalism. I just want to talk and go on a philosophical tangent about the subject and the discussion that surrounds antinatalism. Now, for those who don't know, really quick, just uh, the definition of antinatalism is a philosophical position that assigns a negative value to birth or life, essentially. Antinatalists argue that humans should abstain from procreation because it is morally wrong. Some actually recognize the procreation of other sentient beings as morally wrong. And that's where they start losing me. I, for one, myself, don't want kids. Um, I've been in plenty of positions in the past where I could have shot some dice and took a chance and long story short, let's just say, um, yeah, in my 20s, uh, I've put myself in a few predicaments where if I wanted to, I could have had kids. But I never wanted to. I guess if I had to be on a side of, you know, the antinatalist making absolute sense and the antinatalist being a total fucking psychopath. I don't know. I guess I'd go more 75%. I'm with you. I agree. 25% of you, regardless. You're always just going to be sounding like a psychopath. But yeah. Put a gun to my head and say, yo, you have the choice right now. Do you want kids or do you not want, want kids of your own? Me personally, from my stance, from my point of view, and in my opinion, no, I don't want kids. I don't want to bring humans designed with my DNA into this world that we're living in, especially with what's been going on in the past fucking year and a half alone. You know, just leave it at that. But back to procreation being morally wrong. As if we, as homo sapiens, are separate or we're disconnected from the biological sphere, the biological tree that, you know, the biological tree of life and how it's all interwebbed and interconnected together. You know, like every single mammal or reptile, any, every single species that's walking on fucking planet Earth today didn't just magically wake up here yesterday. Know what I'm saying? It, it's all been... We're, we all crawled out of the same fucking slime, okay? I mean, it's just the way it is. Just the way it is. We all crawled out we all crawled out 
of the same fucking green primordial slime, okay? And no, I'm not trying to sound like fucking Uncle Gary here, but this, you know, when it comes to mo morality and it being morally wrong, I just, I think, because words, words should matter. Daddy champ out says this every fucking five minutes, but he's right. Words matter, okay? Words matter. And, and no, you don't need to fucking take me on a fucking 10 minute fucking tangent as to what language is and what language isn't and you know if you're a if you're a living warm-blooded fucking mammal with three pound brain inside your skull we're all we're all playing a, we're all playing a game okay we're all playing different games at different times for different reasons with different reasonings and different opinions and different feelings and different emotions we're all playing a game and we each have our own three pound brain playing our three pound game but this thing about procreation being morally wrong it's it's where they kind of lose me it's like um as if we're you know I, this this could easily turn into a 30 minute video and i don't want that i'm just gonna snip it here and then y'all can give me your thoughts and opinions on what you think about the philosophy that is antinatalism and as to whether you do or don't want kids what are your thoughts on having kids of your own but i'm just gonna bring this point read a few comments off of a, of a video that i was watching which inspired me to make this video in the first place and i'll just leave it there because like i said this could easily turn into a 30 minute video and i don't want that um what boggles my mind about the antinatalist is how he can he or she how he can easily disconnect himself from the tree of life he's not connected to any living creature to ever live before him he's just somehow he's you know it boggles my mind when an antinatalist says well i didn't choose to be born I didn't choose life. I didn't choose to be born, okay? So, therefore, my stance, my my take on antinatalism, I'm automatically right, and, and your stupid, heartless, selfless sack of shit who just wants to prolong the suffering and then prolong, you know, the, the inevitability of... of suffering and death and torture and but it's absolutely mind-boggling how how the antinatalist can say something like i didn't choose to be born and it's like motherfucker baby cakes baby cakes nobody or no living creature to ever fucking walk on planet earth ever chose to be born you can't make a choice you can't choose something until you're until you're presented with multiple options and things to choose from right i mean that's nothing or anything ever chose to be born biology biology isn't biology doesn't biology doesn't give a fuck about morality okay Biology doesn't give a fuck about morality. 
biology is gonna keep on it's gonna keep on prolonging the inevitable you know biology doesn't give a fuck about morality but this thing about you know going back to that n nobody nothing chooses to be born because in order to make a choice you have to be presented multiple choices before you get to choose what you're going to choose from and all that. But I just, I love how the antinatalist has the ability to turn into God. And he can live in all three timelines at once. I mean, that's how time works, right? You need, you need all three timelines in order for time to make sense. You need the past. You need the present, and you need the future. And with all, when all three come together, then you know we're living in the now, reflecting on the past, and trying to formulate our future. That that's kind of how time does its thing, right? You can't you can't take out the present and then just have the future and the past you just those two it, it'll it just it's just chaos right i mean pick your poison you take out the present you take out the future you take out the past it, it, it just doesn't work you need all three timelines you need the past the present and the future all feeding off one another's energy in order for it to all make sense but I love how the antinatalist has the power to live on all three timelines at once and say, well, I didn't choose to be born, so therefore, it's like nothing ever can or ever will have the choice to be born because that's that's just not the way biology works even biology itself it's it's it finds itself a slave and it's depending on all of those three timelines right the past the present and the future that's how creatures evolve, that's how sentient beings evolve, that's how hairless monkeys like us talking into fucking cameras evolved. I mean, but it's not all, it's a process. It doesn't just happen overnight. And the chihuahua or the fucking lizard or the fucking, the wolf, uh, the elephant, They didn't just, they didn't just bloop into existence from one day to the, to the other. It's all been a fucking process that's been unfolding for millions and millions and millions and millions of years. So... Yeah, I'll just leave it at that. But this notion that the antinatalist is pissed off because according to him, he didn't get to choose to be born. When that statement, that notion, that philosophy in of itself collapses in on itself, as soon as you utter that fucking sentence, as soon as you utter that fucking sentence, the philosophy itself starts collapsing under its own motherfucking stupidity, okay? So, 
if you are an internet list I can open my mind and shut the fuck up for 30 minutes and hear your opinions and I'm I'm I'll I'll even agree with more than half of your uh, opinions or your positions I mean But, but just choose or use a better sentence or statement than I didn't choose to be born, okay? Just start off anywhere else on the spectrum. But once you utter the sentence, I didn't choose to be born, you lost me. You're lost. You, you, you lose. You lose the game. You lose the fucking game. So I'm just going to read a few comments and then I'll just wrap this up. This went on for longer than I thought. I, I knew since it being somewhat of a, you know, philosophical video or whatever. And just, un, you know, not really scripted, unplanned. I was just surfing through the tubes and I came across a video entitled by a YouTuber named World of Vegan and the video is called Antinatalism is having children wrong and she's like eight months pregnant in the video <laughs> so there's a bit of irony in uh, the notion in and of itself right of Someone who's eight months pregnant making a video entitled Antinatalism is Having Children Wrong? Question mark. Video has 13,000 views, 175 likes, 480 dislikes. So I guess she got, she got the, you know, she had to swallow the bitter pill, and I think a lot of people left. A lot of, there's four five hundred and sixty three comments in the video. I'm not gonna play the video. Uh, I'll probably just link it in the description. If you want to watch it, you can watch it. But I'm just gonna read a few com random comments and I'll just wrap this video up. This video was a bit. Uh, it's just off the cuff anyway. Uh, if you care about reducing suffering, maybe you should not have procreated more suffering. Pregnant woman talking about antinatalism is just like asking a guy eating steak and talks about veganism. Here's extensionalist black metal left a comment saying, your child will likely be non-vegan and their children and their children and their children and their children, I can't say fucking children. Your child will likely be non-vegan and their children and their children and their children, thus contradicting your entire channel. Congrats. This is strange. Not one thing you said in the video had anything to do with antinatalism. The claim that there are already too many people so we shouldn't reproduce is not the claim antinatalists would make. Antinatalism is an ethical position that claims that it is morally wrong and unjustifiable to bring a child into this world because suffering is inevitable and major pain, rape, abuse, exploitation, cancer, degradation, depression, debilitating diseases, debilitating illnesses, etc., etc., are all too real a possibility. When you create a child, you create a potential victim and or a potential perpetrator. You may be the best parent in the world and you can teach them compassion, you can teach them to work for others, but all of this is still irrelevant. When nothing really bad happens to the new person, you have no control. You just created someone who will have to take the fall for your personal decision. This is unacceptable. This is the antinatalist position in a nutshell. The population control is not even related. You wanted to say 
You wanted to have a baby for your own satisfaction. The baby will have to deal with all kinds of consequences of your personal choice. Uh, so we're over the hit the 20 minute mark. So I'll just read this last comment and uh, I'll end it there. Let me know what your thoughts on uh, just the philosophy of antinatalism and what what shades of gray flow in and out of your mind when you just think of the topic or the subject of what it is, what antinatalism is, what antinatalism isn't. But here's the last comment. Currently, I am homeless with no friends or family, although things are getting a lot better very quickly. When you really think about it, all my suffering happened because my dad was too lazy to put on a condom. Let that sink in for a moment. That's exactly what antinatalism is. The actions of one, the suffering of the other. Good luck. Antinatalism isn't necessarily related to population or environmentalism. Those, those two issues certainly make a case for not having children, but those aren't the only reasons, in fact, antinatalism would stand if there were only two humans left on Earth. Like veganism, antinatalism can be simply about preventing and reducing unnecessary suffering, by not creating new children, you prevent new suffering and death and don't create new needs to fill. Adopting kids spares your unborn kids. While making life better for already existing kids with existing needs, you one must... Ah, okay, yeah, you see, that's nothing. They lose me when they start living in, in hypothetical land and it's like, well, think about it. If there was only two humans left, would you start procreating if you were with a, with, if it was just you and another, if it was just a male, you the male, and another female on Earth? If you two were the only last two humans on Earth, would you pro, would you bring kids into this world? And it's like, I don't know, that's when you lose me when, when you're living, when you start, you start fighting the fight in La La Land, and you're living in this, well, just imagine if if there was only two people left on planet Earth, blah, 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 blah. And then you're just playing their game, and it turns into a loophole of inevitable, insipid, fucking toxic, retarded bullshit. So anyway... If none of this made sense, or I sounded like a fucktard throughout half of the video, well then, I guess it's just another chemo embryo session video of a video of me finding worthy of calling a video, so now I'm gonna annoy you all and upload it to the motherfucking YouTube sphere. And just let me know what y'all think. Later. Thanks for watching.